Okay. So today I'm gonna talk about why teens shouldn't date. So how many of you guys believe that know someone or believe that teens shouldn't date? Um, I personally do. My my cousin, she's 16 years old, and she ran away from home to go with her boyfriend. But she came back a month later because she realized that her boyfriend, um, it wasn't working out. So she ended up going home. Statistics show that 35% of teens have um, been in a romantic relationship. I will discuss why teen dating is a problem, what the solution is, and what is the outcome of it. Um, teens, teens have, um, I will discuss why teen dating is a problem. Um, oh, um, teen dating is a problem because many teens um, decide to um, not to go to school and prefer to ditch with their boyfriend. Instead of going to school, they go with them and it messes up their education. Um, according to zineteen.org, um, peer pressure has a lot to do with it because they decide to go with their boyfriend and they don't, they feel more pressured being with them than being with their friends. They, um, do sometimes illegal stuff or they, or they do things that they're not uncomfortable with. According to goodparent.org, 2015, parents um, need to communicate more with their teens about sex um, at the age 16 because they don't really know like what is going on and when they're peer pressure, they do things that they're not supposed to. And using protection is one of them. Now that I have discussed why teen dating is a problem, I will discuss the solution of it. Um, the solution of teen dating can be parents talking more to their parents um, letting them know how a good relationship can be. For example, by, by setting examples of how, um, by setting examples by their, by their parents, I guess. Um, parent, what parents can do about, about teen dating is talking to them more, being more open to them, kind of trying to be like their best friend so they can know like what their kids are doing um, in and out of school. Um, according to Good Parent 2015, um, at age 16, they should talk to their kids more about sex. Um, that way they could be more open to them, they could trust them with the things that they tell their parents. Now that I have talked about the solution, I will talk about um, the outcome of it. Um, the outcome of it by teens talking to their parents can be um, them being more focused around school, um, they can, um, it's less stress for them not um, thinking about um, being with their boyfriend, instead they could think about like more of their education. Um, according to childdevelopment.com, um, the benefits of not teens not dating can be that um, they have less of a distraction, they can, um, they can focus more in school, focus more on their graduation, and focus more on their high school experience. I mean, their high, well, yeah, throughout their high school this experience and graduate on time. They don't have to worry about retaking classes or taking summer school. And um, they could be more involved by joining after school programs, for example, sports, um, sports after school programs, for example. Um, the um, programs that they have for students to work um, during high school, like kind of like a part-time job for them. And, and it makes them bond more with their parents, not all, let alone their parents, their friends as well. Um, now that I have talked about how teen they, how teens shouldn't be in a relationship, like not think about being in a relationship, um, Straight Talk About Teen Dating is a good book because it describes like the experience of teens and um, it could help parents guide them like how teens work, I guess. Yeah. All right, thank you.